EMEA Power is an IPP developer, owner and operator of renewable generation uh, assets. Uh, we are focused on Africa. Um, EMEA Power is uh, a young uh, company by age, but mature by achievements. In only five years, we have managed to build two gigawatts of wind and solar projects. Uh, that are today either in operation or at financing stage. And we have also managed to be present in more than 15 countries. Beyond the achievements that we can uh, fulfill as a professional, we can see with our own eyes uh, the fruit of our projects uh, by giving electricity to populations that need very badly to have power in order to electrify schools, to electrify hospitals, to electrify factories. So many countries uh, in, in this continent uh, do not have an access rate to electricity today that is beyond 20%, which is extremely low uh, in 2021. So uh, in a nutshell, uh, the Togo project is a 50 megawatt solar project. Uh, that provides uh, nearly 90 gigawatt hour of electricity per annum to the uh, uh, people of Blita, which is the village where we have developed the project, but also to the national grid. Uh, it is uh, the first utility scale renewable project ever developed in Togo and one of the largest uh, solar power plants in West Africa. And um, uh, it has been named under uh, after the uh, uh, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, Sheikh Mohammed uh, bin Zayed. So the project is a $60 million project and the funds have come from the Abu Dhabi Fund for Development and BYD, which is the West African Development Bank. So um, something very interesting about this project, and this is something maybe that could be used as an example for other African countries, is that this project has benefited from concessional funds coming from these institutions. Being concessional funds, they have come to the government of Togo, not to the project company, and then the government of Togo on lent these funds to the project company. So this way, the project has benefited from very competitive financing terms, which have eventually resulted in a very attractive offtake tariff for the national utility. So I would like to highlight here that we have been able to deliver the project in only 14 months in spite of the big uh, COVID-19 challenges that everyone is aware of, in spite of factories being shut down, ports and airports being closed, curfews being in place, etc. This is why I see it as a, as a real uh, uh, record uh, uh, achieved in Africa. In order to deliver a successful project, it takes two partners, one public partner and one pri private partner. You can be the best private partner out there. You cannot deliver a project alone. You need a solid and committed public partner. It is very challenging to develop uh, projects in Africa for various reasons. Uh, um, I, I, I can give you the example of countries where we have been trying to develop projects for many years, but we have failed because of, for example, uh, security uh, issues. So you would not be able to uh, convince contractors to go and construct your power plant because security is not there. There are other countries where we have failed because uh, you have serious political instability. So you have a different government every six months. So whenever you get things agreed with the government, you have a new government coming in and uh, with a different uh, roadmap and different, uh, different objectives. And the fourth example I can think of is our countries where you don't have clear defined strategies. So you don't have alignments across the local uh, public stakeholders. For example, I'm thinking of a country without naming it, where you have the Minister of Investment, who is fighting very hard to get solar uh, power plants developed, where you have the Minister of Energy who doesn't believe at all in green. So, I mean, as long as you have not aligned uh, your strategy as a government, I mean, the investor cannot deliver.